Hello everyone, today I'm making fit cook. <laughs> so take note. Let's add the water. This is just lukewarm water. One cup. Two cups. And a half. And as we go, we can add more if we need. But two and a half waters, cups of water, lukewarm water. Then one packet of instant yeast. Can you guys see? Okay. In there. And the yeast needs to eat, they eh? come alive. They want food. So it's sugar. Um, you can add three tablespoons too, but this is a quarter cup. Right. Let me start. Okay. If you want to, you can add everything at the same time and just mix it. So this is going to stay and so for five minutes and when we come back, we're going to do the next step. <laughs> okay, so now is the next step. You can see the yeast and the sugar and everything is just bubbling and quite frothy okay now i'm going to add the salt this is a teaspoon and a half a little oil about two tablespoons and then i'm using white bread flour white bread wheat flour if you don't have these kind of flowers you can use the normal cake flowers but i love to use this for my breads it's stronger okay now i'm going to add six cups of flour and the first one i'm just going to stir in Two, three, whoopee, Daisy, whoopee, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> go. Then we go four. And then five. So I'm doing this. If I added more water, I would need six. But this looks like a five cup batter on the dough. Okay. Try to work in as much as a spoon. And then next, we're going to. Put it out on a clean surface and bring it all together into a nice soft dough. Okay, and when we come back, I'll be showing you how I knead it. Okay, so now I'm going to knead the dough. And you can see there's a bit of sticky parts. So I always keep an extra cup of flour handy. Okay, and now we're going to knead it. So 
but this is my favorite part. And just scrape loose all the bits and pieces. And this you do for about eight to 10 minutes. The easy version, the no need version, <laughs> where you don't need, and you just put it in an oil bowl and let it dries. It will give slightly different texture, but it will also taste nice. So if you're in a hurry and you don't feel like kneading, and that's fine. Now, I love this process. <laughs> You'll just see it gets smoother and smoother. Okay. When we come back, I'll show you the finished results of the kneading. Okay. The dough is finished kneading. You can see it's nice, soft, with the comes back. And what I do before, I just take some oil, rub some oil on it, and then I take a bowl that was also just lightly oiled. Right, put it in there, and then I want to get the king wrap. Cover it. And this is going to rise for two hours, an hour and a half, depending on what the temperature is, if it's a hot day or not. So, and when we come back, we're going to fry some fat cook. <laughs> okay, now it's time to fry the fat cook. What I've done was I when it was double in size, I took it out and made some balls and uh, the shape of balls and I let it sit for another 15 minutes and now the oil is ready and now I'm going to cut. Let's do the first one. Second one. As you can see, it's a pillowy soft. If you don't want it too round, you can actually flatten it out a bit. Like that. Put it in. And when we come back, we'll take it out and I'll show you how I put the fillings in. Okay, as you can see, this is now fried about 3-4 minutes on each side and they're also very light and it's floating and you can feel by the weight that it's not heavy Oh, yeah, that I've fried it only. Okay, now when I come back, I'm going to put in the mince curry. <laughs> so there you go guys. Fake cook. These ones I'm going to reserve for jam and butter. There's cheese and butter. And um, you have the mince curry in it. Now, okay. I'll show you how soft it is. Look there. And one bite. Ne? One bite. Mm, 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 mm. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be back with another one. <laughs> Bye.